make sure it's not too hot. What I like to do is give it about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and then and just hold the pressure down to really steam it in. I give it about 30, 60 seconds until it cools off a little bit. And what this is going to do, it's going to soften the skin, it's going to soften the beard, so the beard comes off, and the heat is also going to make the hair stand up. So between a softer skin, the hair standing up easier, and the way that we're going to stretch it, um, we're going to get a much closer shave. So I like to do this than just taking a shave product and putting it on uh, and, then sh and then shaving it. I like to take every precaution that's nice and comfortable and we get it as close as we possibly can. So after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our, our Zorian of New York Shave Gel, which also has aloe vera in it, and, uh, and chamomile, and shea butter, which are anti-inflammatories. So it's very thick, and it's going to give us... Uh, a nice pre-shave. I like to use it as a pre-shave. You can also shave with it. Um, the both shave products work excellent uh, as standalone products, but they work even better together. So we put that on as a pre-shave, and then we take a little bit more of the shave lotion, and we put that on over the top of it. As I said before, because of the cocoa butter, the little bit of oil that it has in it, it uh, really keeps the skin soft, the beard soft, and we're going to be able to get a nice, close shave. So I always want to make sure that I clean my hands off before I pick up my razor, that they're uh, clean and dry. And I'm going to start out in the center where it's growing straight down. I'm going to really stretch that skin and get a nice sharp line. And I'm being very aware of how that beard is growing straight up. So I don't want to go far at all. I just want to get that straight line and then the rest we're going to shave straight up. Okay, so now we got a sharp line there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab that towel, stretch the skin, lay that blade flat. And you should be able to see right on the camera there how it's growing straight up and now to the side a little bit. So that skin is really stretched. And that's it. I don't want to go over it too many times. And then we're going to, now here it's growing straight down. And we'll stretch that skin good. We'll just go over it once. Now I don't never really like to shape over the Adam's apple, especially when it's protruding like that. So I try to pull that skin to the side and and shave it along e on each side of it and above it. Now here we see that it's growing down and to the side, so we're going to stretch up. I can't stress enough how important this is. You have to read the growth pattern of the beard before you shave can't just go in and shave it because it's going you're going you're going to cause all kinds of ingrown hairs now here on the Adam's apple it's growing up and to the side so I want to stretch it below it so I'm not actually shaving over it if I can avoid it at all now we're underneath okay now we're going to turn them to the side now it's growing to the side and then down, almost in a circle. So we're going to come up. So I have this razor, <clears throat> excuse me, laid, laid flat on his, on his face. 
And if you have to bend this all the way around to get it flat, then go right ahead. That's why the handle moves. And now it's growing down and sideways. So now we're going to come around, and we're going to stretch the skin, and we're going to shave it to the side. And you want to make sure you have a decent speed with the razor. If you go too slow, it's going to pull. Okay, and now we have to loop around here. And before we finish that, now it's growing up this way. So now we got to go back to our reverse backhand. And shave up. Okay, now we should have that nice and close. Make sure we got it all. 